Hello YouTube world, it's Mara and welcome back to my channel that serves literally no purpose besides bringing me joy and you guys some mediocre entertainment. So today I really just felt like vlogging because I have a lot of stuff to do. Um, well, not a lot, like literally a few things. I don't know why I'm making it sound like I'm super busy. I'm not. And I'm getting my hair cut today finally because my ends are just so disgusting. I, I couldn't. I couldn't take it anymore so I'm gonna take you guys with me on that and then I have to go pick up something that I ordered at Nordstrom um, so yeah just a couple just a couple things here and there I'm also probably gonna go get a car wash because my car on the outside just looks so gross so anyway yeah you guys will see because you guys are gonna be on the ride for everything okay guys so Plans completely changed and altered from the order of things I wanted to do, but I already got my hair cut, as you can see, and I am literally in love. Like, it looks so voluminous and nice and just exactly what I asked for. Like, I used to hate haircuts when I was younger because they always fucked up my hair. <laughs> and now I literally look forward to my haircuts because I have a great hairdresser that just does my hair so perfect every single fucking time and I can't get enough of it. But anyway, so now I'm at Nordstrom Rack because I'm picking up an order that I had. And then we're going to get coffee and then I should really go get gas because I really fucking need gas. And <laughs> then we're probably going to get a car wash after that. So let's go to Nordstrom. Okay, so I picked up what I needed to pick up at Nordstrom and it's the Kate Somerville makeup setting spray so I just wanted this to be able to reapply sunscreen while I have my makeup on I'm not a huge fan of like that noise sorry guys but let's try it see if it does anything soft focus makeup setting spray broad spectrum SPF 50 so let's try hopefully it I'm scared okay I mean, <laughs> there's like puff and powder now everywhere. It smells really good and it feels super light. Like it honestly felt like I wasn't spraying anything on my face. Hopefully that means it's still working, but who the fuck knows? We'll find out. <laughs> um, and let's go get coffee because I really want coffee. There's a really small, cute coffee shop over here. So I guess I'll get coffee there. Um, Anyway, okay guys, so I feel like I've had the best luck today. Everywhere I've gone, I have found like optimal parking. When I went to go get gas at Sam's Club, there was literally no line, which there's like always a fucking line at Sam's Club because they have the cheapest gas probably in California, um, which is still 368, but honestly, I'll take that because I'm sure it's gonna get hit $4 soon. And yes, yeah, so there was like no fucking line there. Whenever I get my car washed at this like drive through car wash thing, it I always end up having to go inside because I just don't know. The machine doesn't like my card or something. I don't know. But I usually always have to go inside. So I'm going to push my luck today and see if the machine will just let me take my card and hopefully I don't have to go inside. And I really hope it does because there's a car behind me, so if it doesn't, it's gonna be really embarrassing. So, fingers crossed, everything goes perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, and we just get a nice car wash montage. I really hope so. I'm going to get the works wash today because I just feel like that bitch today. I am, I am. Well, I pushed my look to its fucking limit because I tried to buy the gas the car wash thingy here and it didn't work as usual so I just had to drive through and go inside and buy it but you know what no shame no embarrassment I genuinely don't care uh it is what it is but now there's like two cars in front of me again but it's okay I only have to pee really badly <laughs> and oh my gosh on my ticket for the numbers that I have to punch in literally they are Six 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 six. You know, at least I'm aligned. At least I'm aligned. Because I was just like, of course this would happen to me, but 
whatever it is what it is we are getting our car wash why do i feel like it's so zoomed in oh well <laughs> Okay guys, so, sorry my neck got really itchy. I've been home for a hot minute. Um, I was gonna take a picture to post on my Instagram story. And I just like, literally every time I'm about to post something on Instagram, I just continually tell myself, nobody cares. Why would you post this? I know it's a really bad habit, <laughs> like a really bad habit, but I just can't get out of it. And I know I should just post because I want to post and not because other people might care or not, but I don't know. It's just so fucking hard to get my mind to stop saying those things. So <laughs> we'll see if I end up posting something on my story or not. Probably not because once I get in that headspace, I really just can't get out of it. It is what it is. But I'm gonna go eat first because a bitch needs to eat. <laughs> okay guys, so literally the last time I spoke to you was two weeks ago. Um, it's just, I have no concept of time at the moment. It all just seems to be occurring so quickly. Um, but I kind of want to talk to you guys because I wanted to update you on like post-grad life, what I'm doing, why I've my posting has just been so so sporadic so basically you know how i said most likely i wasn't going to be able to get a full-time job right out of college well i lied i <laughs> i got a full-time job right out of college and i'm just working as a substitute teacher aide so that's been really taking up all of my fucking time like i'm not even gonna lie it like monday through well right now i'm only working monday through thursday because of covid some schools are only um on campus monday through thursday but even then i'm still doing my uh, um retail job on sundays so i still really only had two days off on the weekends and i'm finally quitting this sunday is my last su sunday working there just because i couldn't do it anymore um it was all just too exhausting and my posting on youtube was just slacking so hardcore and i just couldn't find the time to do things that i wanted to do and that's where it all just be started to become so cyclical and that's where i realized how most people just end up getting so lost and out of life because they just become their whole work and they don't have enough time to do things that they want to do and I don't want that to happen to me I don't want my life to just become work and then if I decide to go back to school just work in school I still want to have time to do things that I enjoy doing which is obviously YouTube and traveling and like photography and fashion and sewing my stuff and just all of this all of these hobbies that I have that I really really enjoy doing so I was like, I need to quit that job so that way I have more time to just do things that I want to do and not become my whole work because I can tell that I will quickly fall into uh, depression again and like, uh, or just a depressive episode, I don't know. And literally burn out so quickly and then end up quitting my full-time job and just it's all a very cyclical process with me when I don't have enough time to do the things that I want to do. Um, very quickly, I burn out of what job, I, whatever job I'm doing. And well, first I get into a depressive episode, then I quickly burn out of the job that I was doing. And then I quit without like any real thought process or, uh, heads up basically and then i'm like well shit i already quit what am i doing now <laughs> so i don't want that to happen to me because honestly it's like the first well not the first full-time job i've had but the other like first full-time like professional corporate-ish job that i've had because before 
full-time job I had was working at a warehouse. So that was physically demanding while this is a little more mental because you're honestly like constantly going with little kids and you have to keep them on schedule and make sure they don't kill each other <laughs> and all of those fun things. Um, but regardless, I just wanted to let you guys in a little bit to know where I'm at and what I'm doing. And also my heart has been yearning to travel so badly. I'm fully vaccinated now, but I feel like all of our travel plans that we've tried to make happen just have not been able to happen. Like for some reason or another, things just fall through. So I'm just kind of thinking that maybe it's just the universe. Maybe it's Mercury retrograde or maybe it's the universe just telling me like right now is not the time to do it um i don't know also we have been working okay we have had these plans for like over a month and a half maybe two months to renovate the house um but we were only gonna start on flooring like we're just gonna do my mom's room which is the room on this side of me uh, and like maybe the hallway and the entryway of the house and little things here and there we ended up having to buy all of the floor for the house because i guess it's like with the specific floor but that we got if you don't get it all from one lot it's very likely that the tones won't match she wanted all the floors to, to like all the floor tones to match perfectly so she, we ended up buying all of the flooring for the house from one lot so Luckily, yes, it all matches, so now she's happy about that. But now it's like a whole nother process and a whole lot more money to get it all installed, but we're still just gonna do the same area that we wanted to do. But then my sister's bathroom, like the pipe burst and it's all just a mess because now we have to report that to the insurance. And then they're gonna, if it gets approved and everything, there's a specific company that will demolish it but the same guy that's doing our flooring will rebuild the bathroom because we just think there's no point in getting someone else to work in our house when he's already he already does everything like he can do everything so we might as well just have him do the bathroom but then it's going to be like a whole nother mess because he's probably going to finish the floor first which means that bathroom will just be demolished for like <laughs> a month or two until he starts working on that so literally the whole house is just going to be a fucking mess for a bit and this is all just leading up to me telling you guys that um, it might be very difficult for me to find time to film um, because if it's not me being exhausted from work, it's because there's just a lot of people in my house right now. And literally, you all, guys, I'm sure you know that like whenever you have construction in your house, it literally is from like 8 a.m. to like 6 p.m. or something like that because they also wanna work normal hours. So that makes sense but that's like also prime filming time. So I don't know how we're gonna make this work, but I'm gonna try and continue posting as regularly as I can <laughs> because as you can see, there's just a lot going on here. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though it was like all over the place and very sporadic, but peace and blessings and I'll see you guys with a more cohesive video next time. <laughs>